Alright, we're back with more XCOM Enemy Unknown. Isn't it exciting? We just shot down a UFO. Magically, their interstellar travel is no match for our basic ballistics. But let's see what we can find down on the ground. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. Well, that's nice there of them. There are civilians in the area. I hope, I hope they, they stay clear. clear. So we're supposed to locate the crashed UFO. Sweep the area for surviving crew, neutralize them, and avoid additional damage to the craft if possible. Some components may be recoverable. This part is probably the most important because UFO missions can give some of the best loot, as it were, in the game. Especially with ones like this where the UFO just isn't exploded. So we're down on the ground. See, nice little cross through the alien. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Now we gotta right remember. Authorized to assault the alien craft. Now we gotta remember that we're on Iron Man, so I can't just go running guns a blazing and say, "Woohoo, let's kick that some alien butt." But if I had to guess, this is usually the case. If I had to guess, the game's nice enough to at least point me in the direction of where the UFO is. So we're probably gonna see some new enemies here in just a minute. But for now, we're gonna creep up slowly with some of our bigger people and see if we can try and stick to some cover. Try and stick to some cover. Sometimes you kinda get a free move early on. We'll put our we'll put our squaddy up front. Okay, so see we have the uh, first trimmings of UFO, what it looks like. And it looks like we did do some damage to its integrity. But you want to go ahead and start thinking about hmm, where is a good place to set up people. Especially Bridget. Because the sniper really wants to have a good place to shoot. And since she doesn't have the ability to move and shoot, we're just going to dash her over here and hope nothing's on the side. No. Alright, so unfortunately, expendable named Eric Erickson gets you over here. And let's put you over here. Let's keep you a little bit to the left or right relative to the aliens. Okay. So it could be that we have to get a little closer to the uh, destroyed ship before we kind of break through this fog of war. So let's see. It could be we have the high ground advantage on them. So aliens moving. Can we hear them? If I were an alien and my boat got shot down, I'd be a little pissed. Okay, so I don't want to overextend Nova. I'm actually going to move Janet first. Janet Wagner, how all-American is that? Okay, do we see anybody yet? No, we don't. Alright, so this begs the question, where am I going to park my sniper? Because snipers can be really good with taking care of our friends outside of this ship. Once we get inside, it's a different matter. So how much coverage is behind here? A little bit. Let's go ahead and move up uh, Nobu here. Let's see if we can flush somebody out. There we go. That's a being of almost pure energy. Pure F-U-up energy. Can I hit him? 22% chance to hit. He's going to hit really hard. If he does get me. Does my sniper have a shot? No, she does not. Of course she doesn't. So we're actually going to move our sniper up here in a minute. I could run and gun and see if I can get a better shot on him, but I want to wait until I have a little more support for my team. So we're going to move you over here. Let's see here. She has a shot too. She has about 25% chance to hit. So do I want to take the odds or do I just want to overwatch? Because where that one guy is, there's likely more coming. So 
See, that wouldn't be a terrible spot either. I just don't want to move up too close. We'll go here. Have to dash anyway. I can't be out of here forever. You know, we got a shot. We don't have great cover. I'm just going to hunker down. For now. And that's why, because we got a bunch of aliens right behind there, so... That was interesting. See, that hurts. Now, how did I not see those guys before? Come on, knock them out. There we go. That's very interesting. And this is where it's good that my sniper he does have a shot. 35%, 35%, not great shots. Probably better to heal the wound with my person first. Come on, you'll be so back good job, Bridget. Attack. And this is why I was saying before, it's kind of interesting how uh, overextended my guy can look right now. So 58, 78, 46, and 22. We're going to want to take something out as soon as we can. <sighs> Would it be better for me to fall back and fire? I don't know. But for now, we're going to at least give this a shot. He's going to be taking a lot of heat if we don't. Then we have to pause this. Yep, we got another one down. Pausing for just a second. Okay. So, let's see here. What are your percentages like? 25 and 45. The thing that I don't like is that you can get really, really hurt. And you can get really, really hurt. And right now we don't have a great way to counteract that. So let's see. Can we frag grenade you guys? No, but we can smoke grenade our guys. In fact, we can probably, if I'm looking at this right, we can probably smoke grenade all of our guys. That's why we got support. to 45 and 25. I'm going to go for the 45. Because I think these guys are mostly going to stay pinned and shooting. There we go. Another dude down. Yeah, you better run. So he's still going to fire. And miss. So that's a relief. So still some alien activity. Okay, are you really trying to flank me now? Ouch. Okay, so my guy got flanked. He can medkit himself in a minute. See here, I got one shot on this guy. But I want to give some of my other people some experience. So let's start here. Two damage. Forty-three percent chance to hit. And that's good news. Alright, so right now my sniper does not have a shot. I'm not exactly sure how long the smoke grenade's gonna last, but we're gonna go here. And is my med kit exhausted for the game? No more med kit applications. Okay. okay 
so we got nothing to do but to hunker down. Because she could have fired. And we're going to go ahead and heal your wound. Because that guy's shot hurt. Even if it's just a little bit. Okay, so here's our buddy. And we don't have a smoke bomb to shoot through anymore. Now you're hurting, just don't panic on me. See, that guy's gun is a pain in the butt. 35% chance for a headshot. We haven't had much of a chance to shoot with our sniper yet. Let's see if we can get it. Uh-oh. Chalk up another one. Nine for a critical. Operation Swift Serp Serpent is a success. We killed five aliens. Zero operatives lost. And we destroyed absolutely nothing inside the spaceship. And in fact, we didn't even get to go in. That's how efficient we were. Whew! Good job, team. Suddenly it looks like we're the ones that are a threat. We got some wounds, Wagner's hurt, but we also got two promotions. So that's good. We got some balance for our team a little bit. Okay, so first is our corporal. It's going to be out for five days, which is a bit of a loss. So your tactical sense, five defense per enemy in sight. That makes it one of you. Ten critical chance per enemy in sight. So, you know, survivability kind of being a tank or critical, critical, critical. Max 30, max 20. You know, I'll be honest here, if I have four enemies in sight, I'm a little worried about it. But still, five defense is going to be good every time. Ten critical, not always. So I'm inclined to go with this one. I haven't read up on sort of what the strategies are, the metagame for what the best ones for these are. But we got our second support person. She's wounded for nine days. And you can't choose what class you get in this game. It's just kind of you get what you get. Uh, her willpower is 42, though. And that's a little problematic because that tells me that she's going to freak the heck out when she gets shot pretty soon. But we got some other items here. See, this is why you want to do good on the uh, these kind of missions. The alien nav computer, corpses, corpses, UFO power source and flight computer. Those are both damaged, unfortunately, even though I didn't use... Uh, what should we call it? Even though I didn't use explosives, but hey, that's it's early in the game. We'll get some other power sources later. Um, but the flight computer is a big deal because we have still one day left on research. I can't believe we've only had five days of research. Let's see here, officer training school. We need a sergeant before we can increase our squad size. So we're going to have to wait on that. But if we view our soldiers... So we've got some wounded folks, and we've got some people who are ready to help out. But like Nobu here, he has a will of 51. He can take the shit. Emma Schwartz, 46. So, see, those are some stats that you got to look out for. Like, the lower your will, the worse, the worse chance you have of sort of flipping out. Alright, so we are right now by items, no no no, by facilities, we're still waiting on that excavation, because we'll want to get some more power generators in here eventually, but as much as I'd like the power generator bonus next to each other, we can always build down. I need to get engineers for an uplink. So let's spin that clock. Actually, before we even do that, as we're giving you some motion sickness by going around, if you look and see, we were able to kill stuff in Africa. It didn't help us in South Africa. We didn't gain a lot in Nigeria because we're kind of already there. But eventually, if you can kill place, if you can beat missions in the right place, you can knock down some of this panic. And you see, here's our, I assume, worldwide, oh crap meter. But financially, we're still 
looking pretty good. So, it's always a question of what happens next. Alright, we've got a new research. This is one of the things I really like. We get some really good flavor text here. The, the alien weapon fragments provide a limited glimpse into the systems utilized by their equipment. We've seen enough to confirm my worst suspicions about their technology. Durr, it's vastly superior to ours, you think? Yeah, I know, that's my dog yawning, because that's such a boring, boring... Uh, it took five days for you to figure out it's advanced. But we've already, magically, in light of a giant war here, our initial efforts have yielded successful outcome new integrated setting module craft for our weaponry is heavily influenced by the alien's own targeting system. So we get a scope available for manufacturers, which increases the aim. So the alien nav computer you see here, it takes a certain day and certain time to get these. And this is just based on stuff that we've got. These things are slow, these things are slow. Experimental warfare is a very good thing, but we want to go for some faster research right now. We really want to pump some of this stuff out. So Xenobiology or Alien Materials. I'm going to go with Alien Materials next. I think that even though it costs five weapon fragments, I think that gets his body this armor first, a of which helps a great deal. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Oh, well, that's good of you. So I'm going to just... Sit tight for just a second. So we've got more research going on. I believe we still got to wait for some of our facilities, but we do have an opportunity to buy a scope, which this advanced targeting module integrates. Let's see here. It's only 15, but I got to know here. How much is it going to cost to, say, build a workshop? That's 130. And then if we want another for our satellite, that's going to be more so we actually have got to wait a little bit maybe you know I can probably get away with buying one scope so we'll do one so we got a bit of time let's see what sort of bad stuff can happen next See hey, Rand, we're receiving a transmission from the council. Coming on screen. Okay, so we're getting something from a mysterious, shady-looking dude. It's going to be a special mission. And it's a mission that will give us a new possible recruit. Reports indicate a UN official and his associates were caught in the middle of an alien attack in Egypt. Well, that's nice and conveniently close. This official is killed or abducted by the end. It undoubtedly spread panic and reduced the effectiveness of XCOM. We need a squad of your soldiers to escort the target safely to the extraction point. So the old dreaded escort mission. <sighs> At least in this game as opposed to World of Warcraft, you get to control a bit how the escort goes, not just blindly following somebody going at walking speed. So we want panic reduction. We want Excellent. money. We look forward to seeing so we've got progress. a sniper, an assault, a support, and a heavy. With two med kits, and you know what, the heavy dude, we actually, or excuse me, heavy dudette, we're gonna switch a loadout. You already have a rocket launcher. Let's give you a scope. Because we want your big gun to be able to hit better. So there we go. Erickson, Corporal Yamashita, and Squatty O'Connell. Alright, let's see if we can actually kick some alien butt or if we're going to fail and start to bite it on Iron Man. Flying out. And we are doing a special mission in Cairo. So let's you can see our Japanese satellite just all the way over there, but not doing a lot for us yet. Let's begin the assault. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. So we're in the Egyptian border. You can increase the number of soldiers by going to the officer training school. That's nice of you. How about locate the VIP and protect the VIP at all costs? At all costs. That's interesting. 